Come on, lean back, 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 lean Flashback to October 20th, two months and 22 days since Digimon Survive dropped. And we already have something newish to look forward to. <laughs> yes, sir. If we don't count Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, the complete edition, as a new game, since it technically isn't, Digimon World Next Order is the second most recent Digimon game that we've seen released in the West. First being Digimon Survive. I feel like this game has just been lost in the void since it's only been available on the PS4. In the past two to three years, all I ever heard or was asked was, you know, Cyber Sleuth this or, or Hackers Memory that. But now it's dropping on Nintendo Switch and PC on February 23rd, 2023. From what we've been told, it sounds like the game is going to be mostly the same with just two new enhancements. An easy mode and the ability to run. Is it just me or is... <laughs> adding an easy mode isn't that seem weird for anybody like usually they're adding the hard mode so it's just odd but anyways some of y'all gonna need that easy mode i promise i promise now run feature boys now hold on hold on we might be on to something with that one as you're unlocking more of the world and you know it just opens up it just takes so much time to get from place to place so bro i'm, I'm very happy more with that importantly i mean shit he obviously knows something we don't. Should you buy Digimon World next door? You might want to hold on a second there, bucko. This game is nothing like Cyber Sleuth. In fact, it's the exact opposite. If you were anticipating or hoping for the ability to, you know, catch them all, since uh, Digimon Survive sure as hell didn't <laughs> quench that thirst, then I might have to ask you to close off this video because I'm not trying to disappoint you. That's not what I, that's not what I do. But if you want to hear English voice acting <laughs> in a Digimon game, and if you're ready to keep an open mind and you like a little addiction, then I might have some drugs for you. It's called Digimon World Next Order. What might be the worst Digimon World game Yo, in existence? Saying? Shut up. Man, who hired Damn. this guy? He sucks. That's my fault. It slipped. This is a Digimon world game where you have to take care of your partners, not throw them into <laughs> deathly battles. We're not Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? Mm. These things can shit, <laughs> they need to eat, require sleep, and will eventually die. This is some real shit, man. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> On paper, it does sound tedious, but bro, Take it from me. It adds to the experience. If you put in work and raise your Digimon, in return, you're rewarded with an evolution based on the quality of your efforts, which can go both ways. Another area that's dramatically different is the fact that you don't control your Digimon in battle. You have some minor control, but overall, they're probably just gonna be flailing around like idiots. I don't know what to tell you. When they do finally attack, it might take some time. You have the ability to cheer them on. If you press that button at the right time, you're essentially going to be given an additional amount of order power. And with enough order power, you have the ability to command them to use their signature move. Again, not being able to control on paper might sound weird, but it, outside of the occasional mental breakdown that the AI has, it has its fair share of hype and enjoyable moments, bro. Trust. The last main difference is the fact that world games are about 70 to 80% gameplay with 30 to 20% story. So like, on paper, that sounds good, but... What's he doing? You know what, let's just... <laughs> Let's just keep hey, talking about on, the good. Alright, so this is this this section is really me speaking personally from personal experience, but trust me when I say a lot of people are gonna agree with me. The biggest thing that I enjoy in Digimon World games versus 
Digimon Story Games is the progression. I've made multiple videos on Next Order in the past, but ignore them because they're all trash. But I've stuck to this idea that the progression is really what gets me going with Digimon World Games. Next Order, you raise two Digimon at a time and they go through a full lifespan, meaning we're starting from baby Digimon all the way into Megas. But that feeling of progression doesn't stop there. In fact, that's just where it starts. The whole gameplay loop is predicated on the idea of progression. For example, let's continue with the partners. That death rebirth loop gradually strengthens them, building up their move pool stats and the bond between you. Moving over to the plot. Digimon World Games typically revolve around rebuilding a once prospering city. You start the game with basically no help, but as you recruit Digimon back, they get to work and slowly make your life easier. I wanna get a bit more specific, bro, because this is really where Digimon World Games shine. So when it comes to your partners, think of the Digimon's attributes. Agumon and his line are fire, meaning you'll learn mainly fire type moves. You're able to learn other types like wind or mechanical mechanical even if they're not usable because when you're reborn the moves you learn carry over you see where i'm going with this and for the town we can keep this super basic at the start you have to search for the majority of your items you might need but as you recruit your buying options grow one of the biggest progression pieces is recruiting a digimon that lets you block evolution paths as it is you can try to get certain evolutions by ensuring your stats meet a threshold but with the right digimon in town you can forcefully cause those evolutions to happen something you left to rng jesus before and once you reach that point boys it feels good you start out like good. you know weak with like minimal moves and basically no control of your digimon to just being double cheeked up on a tuesday for no reason with two two mega level digimon you know what i'm saying i know all the elements like the avatar i'm talking about big boy shit right now bro this game offers a level of progression that you can literally taste recruit the proper digimon to the city and that once annoying task just got a whole lot easier many times you know it's the story-based battles that spike in difficulty once you've grinded you know you get stronger you're rewarded by being able to experience the story you know bring on the machine draymond and it turns to this cycle of addiction where you know you're strong enough for the story so you blitz through those battles and once your partners die it's a rinse and repeat with the caveat that next time this time you're gonna be able to do things more efficiently and once your partners die it's a rinse and repeat and once your partners die it's a rinse and repeat and once your partners die it's a rinse and repeat the death part is you know where we lose a lot of people we spent hours Training just for the day. What is this real life? I didn't sign up for this personally, man. I I would see it as an opportunity to make somebody else. Like, think about it. You're you're playing this game with just two partners, yet there's over 200 Digimon. So at this point, bro, I'm just trying to like see what the other Digimon look like. You know, the fact that we're only working with two at a time just makes it that much more rewarding when you do make, you know, another mega level Digimon. Okay, so like, addiction is bad, you know? Too much of anything isn't good, that's just common sense. Yes, you know, the gameplay loop does gradually get shorter, but as you progress, the standards rise. All of a sudden, your battles can no longer be won with that rookie Digimon you have. You gonna need a champion. Now the battles require an ultimate. Bro, I said this before. This is big boy shit. We need the mega. Hey, can everybody chill out, bro? Damn. I'm just trying to beat the game, bro. When it takes you literally three to five hours after a mega Digimon's death to get them back to mega and there can be no progression until then we have a problem thankfully I mentioned just a few seconds ago but we do have two and then the game gets so hard that you need two megas to do anything it's ridiculous honestly <laughs> As a player with these world games, it's, it's just like we can't win, bruh. And that's truly where this game sort of falls apart. It's still a ton of fun, but once your Digimon dies, it's this big bag of mixed emotions. On one hand, you know, I'm excited to make another Digimon. But on the other, 
I'm not excited because that's a three hour grind ahead of me. You think, you know, as you get in a late game, things would get much easier, which they sort of do, but it plateaus. By the time two megas are required, there's just not much you can do to speed up the process. So once they both evolve, bro, you already know it's go time, bro. You cannot waste any time. Every, Every second, second counts. counts. We'll see what that easy mode does for story completion purposes, but for completionists, <laughs> be warned. Digimon World Games are all about care, efficiency, and the grind. With the proper care, that being literally and figuratively speaking, you can maximize the efficiency of your playthrough by minimizing your grind. What I mean is, you need to take care of your Digimon while being mindful of your actions because resources are limited especially at the start. If you make one too many mistakes up front, you won't be able to take proper care of your Digimon, leading to a bad evolution, and potentially screwing up your entire playthrough. But if you make the right moves and recruit the right Digimon quickly, you can begin unlocking more and more useful things to aid in the care and growth of your Digimon, leading to an efficient playthrough. And efficiency in world games means doing as much of the story as possible while your Digimon are in their best shape. And lastly, the grind is the name of the game. Whether you're camping in the gym to raise some stats or killing some time, or you're out in the field training on wild Digimon, Next Order is a very grindy game. Honestly, just like most world games are. If you can weather the storm, I promise there's some treasure to be found. But if you just adore the story experience and what I've kind of gone through today doesn't sound that appealing, I can't even blame you, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Digimon world games are really not for everyone. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you're coming back soon. That's just the boy Jam. I'm the squad. It's the tune. Hey, always feeling great. See me smiling hey, in the room. I've been getting to the money ever since I left the room. So hey, true, how yeah. we doing? What's the word? What's the move? What's the, we the J squad. So please make room. I always hydrate. And I'm eating on my plate. Thinking about the past. I can see this is my fate.